Hi everyone, so I'm here in the backyard of the artist Radha Chada. Uh, I know it looks like I'm on the set of a sci-fi film ready to explore alien life. Maybe, another day, but actually, I am about to explore her art, which meets science. It's an incredible intersection, so I'm going to talk to her right now. But first, look at this amazingness. This looks amazing. <laughs> it's incredible. I'm so curious about how you felt the first time you saw this go up. Moved, and this show is called Fabric of the Universe, and it's really about patterns of electromagnetic energy. And this kind of donut shape is the pattern of electromagnetism that, is, that surrounds the Earth. And I want people to be able to visualize this energy that, that we can't see. Thank you so much, Rada, for welcoming me to your home and to your studio, which is beautiful. Can you tell me about where we are right now? Sure, I would love to. So this studio was built uh, as a collaborative effort among a group of us, friends, uh, architects, designers, makers, and um, the wood we got from an old World War II airplane hangar that came down at Pearson. Mm. It's, um, it reminds me of the way that nature builds things. It's just a repeating pattern of the same subunit, like a polymer. So can you tell me exactly how your interest in science and your interest in art came together? So where did this all begin? My sister was a stem cell researcher and she studied hematopoietic stem cells at U of T. Okay. And she and my dad used to have these fantastic conversations and I wanted in. <laughs> so, so they're sitting at the table getting passionate and you're like, man, I want to join They were this. just so fascinated by, you know, the potential of these cells, how incredible they were. Um, and it was so exciting to me. So if I had no idea where this came from, I would feel like I was looking at maybe some sort of alien <laughs> life form that came from outer space, but can you explain what it is that I'm looking at? This is a piece called Scattering, and it's from a body of work called Exodus. All of the photographs in this body of work feature cells as the subject, and the cells are all grown from human skin. How did you manage to make them so colorful? Is that how they look in the body? No, okay. so they're not colored in the body, but in order to be able to prove that I grew this kind of a cell from this kind of a cell. One way to do this is to use antibodies. Mm -hmm. And once I introduce these antibodies to these cells, then I can take them to the microscope and shoot laser light at them. The fluorescent molecules get excited and I can photograph that light. So you've been talking a lot with me about your work to do with cells which is so fascinating. But I also know that you work with brainwaves as well too. Can you tell me about that work and how you move from cells to brainwaves and what that entails? So this, this piece here that you're looking at in the middle, um, what it shows you really is a huge community of cells, thousands upon thousands of cells, which is really just what you are and what I am, where these huge communities of single units of things cooperating together. And so it's this kind of unseen reality that led me to explore other kinds of unseen energies. And that's what led me to create Red Chip. Mm. So why don't we go take a look? I can't wait to see it. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah. We should um, take a selfie with our Muse headband and then tag Deepak Chopra in, <laughs> in a post on Twitter. <laughs> Be like, what up, DFAC? <laughs> can you use them? Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh, We're up and yep. running. Oh, there we go. Yep. All right. So in this specific pattern that you can see here, we have intermediate expression of gamma and delta. So this is kind of interesting because it suggests that it's the end of a long day and you're pretty sleepy, but you're really engaging with what you're seeing in a multimodal way. This is a really interesting pattern. You get to project this in your home, in your backyard. Can you talk a little bit about what 
you know, this space means for you to be able to do your art here. Well, I think that this space is a big reason why this art lives mm -hmm. because I have the opportunity to come out here in the darkness and the quiet and art really taught me about the value of playing with your material so that you can understand them and science really taught me about the value of understanding your materials really well mm -hmm. so that you can produce something mm -hmm. to good effect. It's actually really beautiful to see the leaves in this light. Mm -hmm.